All right, hello, this is Bunting, bringing you yet another sound design tutorial. Be sure to subscribe for more stuff like this, and like and comment your suggestions. Without further ado, today we're in Vital making some rhythm Ulysseal style basses. And I must say, I'm really liking Vital, especially now that I can actually log in and get these awesome wavetables. Wavetables are cool, this spectral morph feature is just awesome, Serum does not have this. And under effects, like this phaser, you got a thing here you can tweak, that's crazy, get more peaks, get less peaks, automate it, just go crazy. And this flanger is nice, and overall I just really like whatever kind of algorithms they're using for this stuff, because it sounds very good to my ears. Also this compressor, just amazing. Without further ado, don't click off the video, this is the bass we're making. <laughs> Cool. So to make that, let's just get our MIDI clip over here into a fresh, untouched by human hands, patch of vital. Awesome. Now we will first desecrate this patch by decreasing this attack and release, just so there's no funny business. The next thing, we will be dragging this peak of this LFO back and assigning it to our level, dragging it down and turning that automation up and of course putting it on a quarter note frequency. Sounds like rhythm to me. So the next thing, going under these fancy schmancy wavetables, we're gonna choose hollow distorted FM because FM is great for rhythm, what can I say? Automate that, you're already doing rhythm, you're already doing it. Now we're taking the second LFO and modulating this wave table with it. Crazy already. Now under the spectral morph features, we're gonna add vocode and turn it all the way up. Cool stuff. Now for these futuristic type rhythm sounds, I don't mean future rhythm, I just mean futuristic as in another way. I think the low pass filter really the low pass filter is just really cool on these guys, all right. So let's assign our LFO one to this cutoff. Taking it the whole way. Cool. Now this affects this is where the magic happens with the phaser. Let's turn our offset down because if you can can't tell it's all stereo in our ears. I don't want that. And I don't want it moving either. So let's keep it in place so it won't move unless we tell it to. Next thing, let's assign our LFO2 to this center knob. Add some great movement already. And in the patch, I believe I turn this up just a bit. Cool stuff. Now the next thing is this amazing multiband compressor. Just hear that difference. Let's turn the attack up and turn this down so it's not destroying our ears. What a difference. Might be better than serums. I don't know though. Don't quote me. Don't hold me accountable. Next thing is this chorus. Already sounds cool, but I don't want it moving without me telling it, so I'm freezing that too, turning this depth all the way up. Damn, that is nice. And in the patch, I think I turned up this delay and this delay. If you notice, this chorus gives you, with the feedback, an almost delay type effect, which is awesome for rhythm sounds. So let's assign our LFO one to the feedback so it's not, not ringing like crazy only rings when we want it to. All right, the next thing is this delay here. And as you can tell, that is not a very rhythm-like delay, so we're gonna click this note, put it on seconds, and mess with it until it sounds cool. Don't know about you, but that sounds pretty cool to me. Let's assign our LFO one to this feedback get it at freaking zero if it will cooperate and 
and there we go that's that the next thing we're adding is a flanger for some even further metallic rhythmy effects as you can tell it's going everywhere so we're freezing that john as well just clicking and dragging and i don't want it stereo either so i'm turning the offset off all right, next thing is next, as I'm looking at my little picture here so I know what the heck to do, is we're gonna mess with this center knob until we get it to a cool frequency. That sounds pretty cool to me. And just like these other effects, we're gonna automate the feedback with our LFO one. Last thing is a tiny bit of reverb with the lows cut out. I think that reverb sounds great. And just turning the mix down so it's not super reverby. And from there, you can really have fun with it. What I did for this drop arrangement type thing is I automated this LFO1's frequency here. So let's just draw it in. Whoops. That sounds pretty awesome to me. Now all that is in Vital, there is no post-processing because Vital does such a great job on its own. So now let's compare that to our original bass because I think it sounds a little different. Now let's inspect what this difference is. You see, you get two basses in one video. That's the kind of value I'm providing here. Oh, it's because I put it on 0.32, I mean, 0.35 on the other bass instead of 0.32. So let's just adjust. And also, I think the flanger is at a little different frequency. 0.32. But as you can tell, it's very easy to make a completely new and unique bass sound just by tweaking a few knobs. That's a very kind of old school sound. In fact, I think I like this one better. Well, that's two bases for you. I hope you have a reasonable time trying to copy all this stuff exactly but what's the fun in that when you can be creative oh my gosh that's an excuse for me making a lazy video but hey am I wrong no I'm not wrong but messing with stuff like this center you can really mess with the timbre of the sound same with this delay and this flanger especially. Add another filter if you're feeling really crazy. Let's go to our combs, I guess. Pretty cool, makes it a little less fat, but I'm just demonstrating the kind of fun you can have with this stuff. Also try pitch bending.
But beyond that, as always, experiment. I'm done messing around with this patch. It's time for you to mess around with this patch and have lots of fun with this new Vital Synth. That about covers it. If you enjoyed this, subscribe. I'm posting things pretty much every day, just like this. And also, like the video if you liked it, if it was helpful. And it helps boost it to more people, so we grow the channel and have more knowledgeable sound designers making great rhythm basses. And of course, comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Alright, this is Bunting. Peace out.